I am proud to have been asked to be a co-chair of the Hispanic Leadership Summit for a fourth year. It's an amazing gathering of Latino leaders from across the country. And to do this four years in a row when we are confronting the challenges of the pandemic and other restrictions in the country is impressive indeed. We all owe an immense debt of gratitude to Claudia, Claudia Romo Edelman, for the leadership that she has shown in this endeavor, bringing us together in this way, setting forth a work agenda, thinking through imaginatively ways to create differentiation between this and other conferences of its type across the country. Very well done. And I am very proud to be associated with all of you in this room. What an amazing gathering of Latino leaders from everywhere across America to find common cause, to find agreement on key uh, agendas of business, of legislative leadership, of social action. We live in a time of great opportunities, to be sure, and we're all blessed to be part of the American Latino community. I've said before, I will say it forever, one of America's great blessings is the presence of American Latinos who bring such energy and ambition and hope for the future, the future backbone of American progress, in my opinion. But it is also, we know, a time of great challenge and difficulty. The pandemic has made it clear the fault lines in American society, and unfortunately, many Latinos have found themselves on the wrong side of that fault line. We've had too many people in the essential jobs that expose them to the illness. We have found too many people who have been sick with long-term pandemic results, or many, too many, far too many, who have died. And we see the effects in the economic inequality, we see the effects in educational underattainment in so many areas where the American Latino community needs to make immense progress and where the country's interest is served if we make that progress. I think it's a very important thing that people would gather this way, you would gather this way, leaders would gather this way, to think through the challenges of the future. I'm, I'm pleased that over these days, you've discussed subjects related to economic progress, economic development, jobs, incomes, corporate, rising on the corporate ladder, corporate boards, all of those things that will add to our ability to influence our economic destiny. We've also focused on education, very importantly. Everything from pre-K through K through 12, through uh, accession to college, community colleges, higher education, graduate school, law school, professional endeavors, critically important to our place in the future of this country. And we have focused very importantly as well on the need to come together across our differences. If Latinos, who are now approaching 60 million people in the United States and the fastest growing minority as we know, and will account for about half of all the growth in the United States between now and 2040, if we were to remain just a mix of uh, disconnected, uh, isolated, not integrated uh, nationalities and allegiances, some of us Mexicanos, some of them Cubanos, some Puerto Ricanos, some from Latin America, some from the Caribbean, uh, and, and, and other groups from around the, the compass. Uh, with our differences of religion, with our differences of politics, with our differences of geography, if that's all we are, then 60 million is a meaningless number. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a kind of a statistical aberration. If, if, if we remain that way, then we will never be a concentrated force in key states or a concentrated force in the in key industries. But if we can find the common ground, the common themes, put some of our differences aside and focus on the things that we can agree upon, and there are many, the vast majority of things related to our children's education, how we treat our elderly, how we develop our small businesses, how we how we uh, support the ambitions of those who have the capabilities to rise in the professions and corporations, how we create scientists from our, among our midst, how we advance our military leaders. If we support each other in every aspect of American life, then 60 million is one of the most important forces 
in the American story of the next decades. If we can support each other and find that common ground, put those differences aside and concentrate on the things that unite us and create a block around those things that unite us and get excited about that and go forward under the guise of the Hispanic star, then we will be one of the most important forces in shaping the destiny of our country. And let me just tell you, America needs the energy and drive of the American Latino community. It does, it really does. America needs to stay young, to stay energetic, to stay forward looking, to stay ambitious, to stay capable, to stay uh, excited about education and building for the future. We've always been a forward looking people, America. And the time calls for that same energy. And in this generation, in this time, it takes the form of the American Latino community, united, 60 million strong, various groups coming together, spanning the geography of the, of the nation, representation in both political parties, representation in every form of civic, religious, and uh, other endeavor in the American society. That's why this meeting is important. And that's why your presence here means so much. I'm proud to be associated with Claudia and the leadership team she's assembled uh, in order to just bring this message. We will work together and we will assure the greatness of our country going forward. I say our country, it is our country as much as anyone else's. Whether some care to recognize it or not, whether some choose to marginalize us or not, whether some choose to denigrate our heritage or history or language or any other aspect, our last names, whatever it might be, our color of our skin, whatever it might be that is a divisor in America. We, are, this is our country too. And we're gonna give it our very best. And in due course, America will recognize one of the best chapters of its history is the chapter in which the American Latino community led by people like you comes to lead the, the nation as a whole. That's what it, our future is. That's what our destiny is, and that's what we will do. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for letting me be part of it.